Hello, everyone, and welcome to this on-demand webinar on network segmentation with Comscope Ruckus. Let's begin by discussing what network segmentation is. It's the practice of dividing the enterprise network into multiple smaller networks. As you can probably imagine, it goes quite a bit deeper than that, but in its most encapsulated form, that's what network segmentation is all about. Why would you wanna do this? Why segment the network? The first reason is IT security. Network segmentation has the effect of isolating devices and groups of devices from one another. That way, if a device becomes compromised by a threat that penetrates the network perimeter, it can't propagate laterally or horizontally within the network. Certain types of devices like say IoT devices that may be optimized around time to market instead of security may be higher risk than others. Likewise, guest devices and even internal BYOD user devices that aren't owned and managed by IT may be higher risk than those that are owned by IT. And so by putting them on separate network segments, you can prevent pr threats from propagating if a device should become compromised. Another reason is user experience. You can use separate network segments to, uh, to host specific devices that are deemed mission critical. So they don't have to com compete for bandwidth and resources with devices that are less mission critical to the organizational business or organizational mission. There are also spe in a specific industry use cases that I'll go into an example of one a little bit later where network segmentation can provide a better user experience for users in, in those environments. And the third reason is audit and compliance, that if you put specific devices that are subject to more stringent requirements around audit and compliance on their own network segment, it, it makes it easier to pass your audit and to demonstrate compliance to regulatory requirements. So those are the three reasons why you might want to engage in network segmentation on your enterprise network. Let's discuss a couple of the technologies used to do this, used to segment the network. And these are VLAN and VXLAN. And they stand for Virtual lo Local Area Network and Virtual Extensible Local Area Network. And they are similar in certain ways because they allow you to provide a virtualized uh, network on top of your physical network. But there are some differences and let's go into those. The v VLAN scales to 4,000 VLANs on a single network. And VXLAN is actually dramatically more scalable. It goes all the way up to 16 million VXLANs on the network. And it's hard to imagine a use case that requires quite that degree of scalability, but it's there if you need it, I guess you'd say. And so if it, basically VLAN exists on layer two in the network, whereas VXLAN exists as a layer two overlay on top of layer three. VLAN works within a single physical network segment Whereas VXLAN gives you more flexibility because it can span across physical network segments and geographies. This is the part where we wanna go into a little bit more detail on a specific industry use case around the, the MDU or multi-dwelling unit uh, industry. So multi-dwelling units are any sort of living situation where people live communally with mul multiple households in, in one unit, basically. So an example of that would be an apartment building or a senior living facility, military bar barracks, RV park, and so on, any place where, where people live communally. Now, traditionally, a lot of times the model has been kind of bring your own internet. You know, the individual consumer would go to an ISP and contract for internet services. But in increasingly, MDU properties are opting for a managed enterprise grade network that would, would basically replace that in the MDU environment. And that would, that would basically be you know, an enterprise channel plan with optimally placed access points and, and really a high, the kind of performance that you would expect um, from a, an enterprise network, because that's exactly what it is. And what you're able to do with next network segmentation in this kind of environment is to provide with that you know, unified network, uh, you're able to provide a per resident virtual network so that residents have a more personalized experience because they only have, they have visibility into their own devices, but not their neighbor's devices. So it really has the feeling of a personal network, but that coverage is still pervasive throughout the environment. And residents have the ability to roam about the environment, whereas if they were using you know, the consumer grade approach, you know, once they roam outside of their, their unit in the area outside their unit, that they would lose connectivity. But with this approach, 
and the virtualized personal networks using an enterprise grade network, you're able to roam about that environment and maintain your connectivity as you go down to the gym or the front lobby um, or the pool, for example. And it, it really provides a, a great user experience for residents in that MDU environment. And so this is a, a use case of network segmentation that's specific to this particular industry sector. And what products are there that enable network segmentation within the Ruckus portfolio? It depends upon the approach that you wanna take, um, but if you, if you wanna take a VLAN approach, Cloud Path Enrollment System enables VLAN whether or not you have a Ruckus network in place. So it would work with other with networks from other vendors as well. If you want to do VXLAN, at least in the way that we've implemented it here at Comsco Ruckus, you would need a, a wider range of products. And those would include virtual smart zone, uh, either centrals or high scale. And that would be version 6.1. And then you need the smart zone data plane, either the hardware appliance or the virtual smart zone data plane. And of course, you're going to need Ruckus APs to round out the deployment there um, to provide the kind of performance that, that residents um, are going to expect or users or students or whoever the users are in your environment. And you're also going to need Cloud Path 5.9 release 3 in order to implement VXLAN, at least in the particular way that we've done it here at Comscope Ruckus. A little bit more detail on the products, a couple of the products that we mentioned in the previous slide. Ruckus Smart Zone, of course, is one of our great control and management um, platforms, architectures. Um, in fact, in many ways, you could think of it as the flagship um, for medium to large enterprise that wants an on-premises approach to uh, control and manage, but it's also very popular in the service provider partner community. Um, and many times the previously mentioned uh, MDU sector would use a network as a service through a, a service provider and smart zones very conducive to that very popular with medium to large enterprise um, and with service providers and smart zone basically provides converged wire and wireless management with maximum scalability for those types of customers and for the service provider partners. And I won't go through each of the um, features and attributes here individually in the interest of time, but just know that smart zone is, is you know, converged wired and wireless management. And a few more words about CloudPath enrollment system. So CloudPath enrollment system has a, is about, all about secure onboarding, getting users connected to the network BYOD guest users, IT owned devices connected to the network quickly, easily, and securely. So it's a cloud service for secure network access, or another way to say it is network access security. So it has a variety of security measures, streamlined onboarding, that process by which users connect for the first time with a new device um, to get them connected without without IT involvement, self-service workflows. And it's all about uh, BYOD guest users and IT owned devices. So cloud path enrollment system is an important element of the Ruckus approach, at least to network segmentation. That concludes our presentation today. If you'd like to work, learn more, please go to comscope.com slash network segmentation. Thanks for watching.